you've probably done it before, yell at a driver to slow down in your neighborhood. The city wants to help. It has come up with a new plan to deal with speeders, and it involves a lot more than just speed humps. News 13's Lizay Mitri explains. We've been waiting for a long time. Well, they've always taken way too long. Albuquerque residents are hoping the city will speed up its work to slow down the fast drivers going through their neighborhoods. We've been talking to the city about changes that could be made or should be made in our view to Silver for more than a decade. This driver sped by on Silver near Girard going 10 miles over the speed limit, a potential danger to neighbors and all the cyclists on the street. The city's old program centered on adding speed humps to slow down those fast drivers, but that doesn't always work. There's issues with police fire access, emergency vehicle access. Wilfred Gallegos with Municipal Development says a new plan is waiting on approval from City Council that will give neighborhoods more options. It's a program they designed after looking into how other cities around the country handle speeders. One neighborhood says they've been waiting a long time for this and they're hoping it'll finally give them a way to get people to slow down. You know, like this guy, he, he, he's going about 30 miles an hour. The new traffic program lists dozens of options like putting up radar speed signs, making neighborhood streets narrower, traffic circles, or just new signs and striping. But it could still be a while before neighbors see any changes, especially at first when the city says it may have to revisit areas that were denied under the old program. We're going to be flooded with a number of them taking a look at it again. We'll have to wade our way through it and go through each one again. Liz Amy Tree, KRQE News 13. City Council is still getting public input on the new plan before it gets approved. There's a committee meeting Wednesday night to discuss it. For more information, click on KRQE links at krqe.com.